Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial for USTAT Tennis. In this tutorial, we'll be covering settings, data backup and restore, and the in-app help. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we'll launch the app, switch over to the settings tab, and here you'll see settings broken down into uh, several different categories. Uh, the first is preferences, uh, which as you might expect is where you go to set various options, preferences, and settings. Uh, default behavior for the application. Under general, we have a variety of ways to control the way that singles, players, and names are displayed uh, throughout the interface, and also the way that doubles teams' names are displayed. Uh, doubles teams' names are automatically generated, so you can control that uh, to some extent, uh, whether it's a combination of two players' first names, last names, first initial, last name, etc. Uh, you can play with these settings, they're uh, pretty self-explanatory, and they're described in more detail uh, within the help manual. Uh, under miscellaneous, you have uh, print size, which controls the way that PDF documents are printed, whether you want to squeeze more information onto the page and save paper, or whether you want to make the output larger and a little bit also turn off the samples players and teams if you don't want them displayed in the interface. Uh, you do need to restart the app for that uh, setting to take effect. Under record, uh, we have the settings that actually uh, affect the recording interface. Ball leads trail uh, is an option that you can turn on and off uh, that affects whether the tennis ball from the previous location or the previous stat event is uh, temporarily visible in an updated state. Make it easier to make sure that your the previous event was in a, a reasonable location. A fade doubles alleys is a helpful setting that uh, kind of fades out partially, obscures the doubles lines when they're recording a singles match. It can make it a little easier to zero in on just the single score. Uh, match defaults and tiebreaker defaults are both default settings for the required pieces of information on the match screen and the set screen during recording. Uh, if you watch the recording uh, stats video tutorial, you'll get a little more information on those. The default values that you set here uh, will be the default for any match or set that you start, but you can override them on a per match or per set basis at any time. Uh, under Analyze, we have just a couple uh, options that affect the way that uh, stats analysis reports are viewed. Uh, the details of these uh, can find the default within the app. Uh, the most important category in the settings area here is definitely data. Uh, backing up and restoring the data is critical. Imagine having reported stats for dozens of matches over the course of an entire season and then your iPad, or it breaks for some reason, or you buy a new iPad and you need to transfer the, all of your data to the new iPad, or another real common scenario, you have somebody helping you take stats, a parent, an assistant coach, a student uh, volunteer statistician, they're taking the stats on their own device, and you want to be able to transfer it to your device in order to analyze there. So backup and restore is the way that you can all of that happen. Uh, you'll want to, even if you're not getting your iPad or having some of those helpful stats, you'll definitely want to make regular backups of your data. We cannot emphasize this enough. Do not rely on iTunes or iCloud to back up your data. Uh, they're not really intended to handle uh, the correct ordering and synchronization. You'll often auto accidentally back up to a really old copy or uh, something that's a bit out of sync and you'll end up losing data. So we definitely recommend using the backup system here. It'll create a single file, a USD file, which is stands for USDAT data, a single uh, USDAT data file that contains everything, your teams, uh, profiles, pictures, stats, uh, everything all in one file. You can keep that file somewhere safe on your computer. Uh, the file name already includes the date that it was exported. Uh, it's easy to, to keep a, an 
five of your stats. So in order to back up data, all you do is uh, select backup, select the player, players, or teams, and select any combination that you want to. Tap the action button in the upper right. Uh, there's a couple ways to do the backup. Email is definitely the easiest. Uh, backup the file is meant for using the iTunes file sharing. But I'd say the vast majority of our users use the email option. So let's uh, tap back up via email. Confirm that. Uh, the more matches you have, the little bit longer it'll take to get the backup. Uh, you have your email interface here. Type in your destination. Send it. And away it goes. Then, to restore data, the recipient of the email uh, simply taps the email attachment. Uh, it will automatically open the stat tennis, ask if they want to restore that data, and then it'll do the uh, import automatically. It's, uh, it's very straightforward, only requires a couple taps, and it allows you to move the entire data set, no matter how large, around so back and forth between devices. Uh, the other options here under utilities, are typically just used for troubleshooting with customer support if you have any issues. Upgrade is where you would go to upgrade to the various application levels of the app. Uh, it's been talked about in some of the other video tutorials, but just to uh, recap, the standard version of the app gives you two singles players or one double steam. The pro version gives you two more players or one more double steam. And I go, variety of additional stats, cumulative stats by season, tournaments, opponent, date, career, etc. Some pretty powerful stats analysis feature. The elite version gives you uh, an unlimited number of players and doubles teams. Uh, so that's a great option for large schools, clubs, So that's pretty much settings. Uh, help. I give everything that we've covered in all these video tutorials all available here in the help system. It's uh, basically a new website within the app. So anywhere that you see a new topic, uh, you can tap that link. It'll take you directly to that topic. And you can move back and forth between topics in that way. Uh, so pretty easy to navigate. Everything's covered here as well as support page with links to our website, our support email address, and our Facebook page, all of which are great ways to uh, get in contact with us. Also, this entire, all of the help contents that you see here within the app are available as a PDF file on our website that allows you to search the PDF. It's great if you print it or a portion of it. Uh, it's also fully indexed. So that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, hopefully it's answered some questions about setting and help. And uh, don't hesitate to uh, email us or post on the Facebook page if you 